Hello folks, Jose Rodriguez back again and as you can see I have my XP 15,000 maintenance box that we just recently tested to see how many cycles we can get out of this single box without having to replace the pads. In other words, if we catch it at about 85%, that means that 10 grams of ink or waste ink has been deposited inside these pads. How many cycles can we get without uh, having a overflow accident if you will so we tested this previously we were able to add 10 ml at a time up to six times and by that point yeah the sponges became saturated or the pads so at that point I removed the pads I rinsed them in water thoroughly I allowed them to dry and I put them back in and now we have to put back the uh, lid and you see what that looks like the lid only fits one way in this orientation only. There are tabs right here. Let me bring this up to the uh, lens. There are tabs right here and there are tabs on the lid only in that orientation, not the other way. They will not fit that way. So you have to make sure you do it correctly. Now it's just as tricky as when we removed it. So we're going to pop these back in. I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this in your printer so that now we can then reuse this one one more time so I got that in popped in I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do these at the hope easily and uh, seems to be going a lot easier than it did during the removal and boom we now have let me orient this we now have a cartridge that is ready to be used in the printer Hopefully the resetting that we performed on it on the previous video should take. Remember folks, I had a replacement cartridge installed. That means that the Pro 1000 recorded that particular chip's unique code. And it erased which one? It erased this one. So now I should recognize this as an empty cartridge, brand new chip, because it does not remember that code any longer. All right, let's jump over to the printer and we'll proceed to install this cartridge. Okay, the first thing we need to do is open up the lid and right here is located a little screw. We're going to go ahead and unscrew that. It will not come off, it just basically stays put. That will then unlock this little lid right here. It's a little doorway. We're going to remove that easily like so. We'll put it aside cartridge is located right here. You just remove that. This cartridge was never actually used. It was just installed and like I said earlier the printer then recorded that particular chip code and now it should be able to accept the one that we reset earlier. We'll pop that back in and now we will go ahead and install the door again. And then we'll proceed with one more procedure here that should render that chip as a new one. On your screen you see next, let me orient the camera and zoom in. Okay, so as you can see it says product number T3661 and it says next but also says maintenance box not installed well we have to hit the next button and it says it is not recognized install it correctly done watch this so again that may throw you off and you may think that something went wrong but in actuality it did not Let's go ahead and examine our ink. And as you can see, the box is empty. This is your maintenance box level, and it declares it as empty. So now we can proceed to use that cartridge. 
the one that we just previously reset and repacked and we should be able to get at least four runs out of it without having to repack it or reset it so again I hope you enjoyed this quick video it showed you how much you can get out of one of these and again I recommend that you buy one of these compatible ones simply to have it as a way to be able to fool the printer or even use it if you choose to do so you will get several runs out of it all right thank you so much don't forget to subscribe share and like and until the next time happy printing everybody bye bye